I just look at what's happening now and at these institutions, you know, which were supposed to support these sorts of protests or at least uh, support the integrity of democracy in different countries, stand for it. The UN, the EU, NATO, they have been so dramatically weakened in the last four years, uh, primarily because of what's happened in the US with the Trump administration aligning itself with dictators around the world and in the UK uh, with Brexit in their alignment um, of those leaders with uh, dictators. And it feels like these kind of institutional barriers have diminished when we have the, you know, so-called paragons of Western democracy actually part of an axis of autocrats. And so I don't even know what to do there. I always look at the, the Republicans and what they're doing now, where they're passing autocratic initiatives flagrantly in the United States. You know, they're trying to keep people from voting. They're labeling uh, Antifa as a terrorist group and then broadly proclaiming that anybody protesting or just you know stating their opposition to fascism is therefore a terrorist. So now it's like becoming illegal to be against fascism in America. You know, there are all these things going on. But then when it comes to China, they're suddenly very much like, oh, yeah, you know, we need democracy. We support the Hong Kong protesters. And so, you know, my own senator, uh, Josh Hawley, is one of the main people doing this. And I kind of look at this and I'm like, you know, I, I don't believe the sincerity of it for a minute because I'm like, if you recognize this um, on a fundamental moral level as wrong, you know, what, what the Chinese are doing uh, to these different groups, to the Uyghur to uh, the citizens of Hong Kong, why can you not see it in the United States? And furthermore, why are you emulating these kind of uh, autocratic repressive measures? And it's because they are hypocrites. They are opportunists. Uh, this is mostly about money and uh, they don't care. But that's what makes me you know, skeptical that the normal process of sanctioning a nation will be carried out by this Congress. 